<laughs> uh, all right, welcome everyone to the 2023 American Trombone Workshop. This is the national solo competition. I'm so glad to have you all here with us. This is our first time uh, being back fully in person after a very long hiatus. So we're very excited to have everyone here today. Uh, quickly, I want to make a few th uh, thank yous to some people that really make this competition possible. Um, it starts with my personal assistants, Staff Sergeants Austin Westjohn and Ethan Scholl, who have spent many hours behind the scenes and helping today, like making everything go very smoothly and wrangling around competitors. Um, not that they need wrangling, but you know, you just gotta make things go smoothly. Um, I wanna thank our formidable tech crew who put together a an amazing uh, show, making sure everything in the whole workshop runs very smoothly, um, and also the live stream. So thank you to them making everything happen. You can't see them, but they're, they're awesome. <laughs> um, I also want to thank our esteemed judges. Uh, here are our esteemed judges in no particular order. Uh, we have Dr. Jeff Cortazzo, Master Sergeant Will Timmons, Musician First Class Dan Kaufman, Mr. John McGinnis, and Chief Musician Clint Waltering. They are all uh, very profound players and teachers, and uh, we're very happy to have them here to help us today. I also really want to thank our uh, professional accompanist, Dr. Alexi Ulitin, who is coming in and accompanying all of our soloists today. We are excited to hear this year's finalists, chosen from over 100 applicants from all around the globe. We will start the competition with our Division I applicants performing Fancy Free by Clay Smith. The first up is Eamon Hashish from Carnegie Mellon University.
Our next competitor is Joe Mayoko from North Oldham High School, Kentucky.
Our last competitor for Division I is Harrison Cloninger from the University of Central Florida.
All right, this time we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Uh, we have one of our competitors is leaving uh, pretty early uh, on a flight and I wanna make sure that they can make it. So uh, to help them out, we're gonna move up division three. So now these are our division three candidates. Uh, they are playing uh, Sonata for Bass Trombone by David Gillingham. Um, the last division I should have mentioned, division one is all uh, contestants all under 18 and under from November 1st, so they're their youngest division. Division three is our oldest division. Anyone is allowed to apply. Uh, the first competitor up playing David Gillingham Sonata is Graham Minot from Indiana University.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Our next competitor uh, flew a long way to get here, Suk Jin Yoon from the Korean National University of Arts. Thank <laughs> you. 
Our last competitor for Division Three is Kiyun Park from the New England Conservatory of Music. Thank 
All right, next up is Division Two, because we did this out of order today. Uh, Division Two is for contestants ages 23 and under. They are playing the Concerto for Bass Trombone by Elizabeth Raum. Uh, the first contestant is Dylan Halliday from Oklahoma State University. Ha, 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 ha. 
Our next competitor is Ross Sanchez from Texas State University. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank uh-huh. 
Our last competitor in Division Two will be Christopher Kemp from Missouri State University. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, that concludes the uh, competitor portion of the 2023 American Trombone Workshop National Solo Bass Trombone Solo Competition. Uh, 
I would kindly ask our uh, wonderful viewers to step out and allow the judges some time to deliberate. Uh, we will be announcing the winners in the lobby uh, in 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you so very much for everyone to come. I want to say a few thank yous again to our tech crew for being amazing and making this happen, and our amazing judges for being here and spending a very fast solo judging time with us today. So thank you very much, everyone. Let's give the judges some time to deliberate.